Hey everyone, it has definitely been more than a minute. It is I once again, Mr. Cinema Junkie. I'm sorry it's been so long, and I really meant to get back to this sooner. I've just had little things coming up here and there, um, health-wise, and just overall stuff I'm dealing with, and, and but I think I've got a majority of it under control, so now I have time to sit down in front of the camera again, and uh, yeah, it's, it's been it's been a little too long. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, yesterday I went to the movies and saw a first run feature. I saw Deliver Us from Evil. Um, just like with most movies, most recent offerings, uh, the hype machine is in full effect. You know, they they say little key phrases like "you won't sleep for weeks" or or you you will be permanently disturbed or you know your eyes will bleed at the imagery that you'll see. And no matter how many times they do that. And no matter how many times they don't live up to that, there is a part of me that always says, maybe this time will be that time. Well, it wasn't, but the movie was great. It was an excellent movie. I liked it. I really did. Uh, one of the descriptions of it was, I think it said, The Exorcist meets Seven. I can see that. It had it had a, a balance of uh, of spiritual and physical kind of deals going on, um, <clears throat> and it's supposed to be based on some like true events from some cop, uh, which you know has me intrigued to find out about the real story. I'd like to hear more about that. Uh, what did it for me was the imagery. I believe that the imagery is what got me. It was the way things were shot. Um, the actors really brought it without being corny about it. Uh, they, when they're possessed, they're, they, they really sell it hard, okay? And, uh, I thought that was, that was pretty incredible. Um, mm, wouldn't really call it a gory movie, but it has a couple of disgusting scenes in it. Uh, depends on your your level of what you can and cannot take or put up with. Um, overall, it had this uh, creepy, somewhat uneasy feeling. Um, jump scares left and right, that just comes with the territory. Uh, you know, and, and a couple of them I think were were shown in the uh, in the trailer. So you kind of know it's coming. So some of those, some of those really big jump scares kind of fell a little flat because they kind of gave it away in the previews. Um, and if I sound like I'm about to like just bury this movie, I'm not. It, I'm definitely gonna buy it. I'm gonna own it when it comes out on Blu-ray. Uh, I liked it enough to do that. Um, I I recommend seeing it. I recommend checking it out. If you're not too sold on the idea of seeing it now that it's a first run feature, wait to, wait for it to hit the second run theaters. But definitely go see it in a theater. Much much more atmospheric that way. Don't wait for it to come out on DVD or Blu-ray or any of that stuff. See it while it's in the theater. That's my big recommendation. So yes, Deliver Us From Evil is a definite watch. I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it, it was it was just done very well. I just liked the way it was put together. Um, it, you know, I'm a I'm an old man in in the uh, horror genre field, and stuff that scared me as a kid doesn't scare me now. And and it's hard to scare me. It's hard to get deep down inside and, and really unnerve me to the point where I'm kind of like up all night. That ain't gonna happen. And if it does, I applaud whoever pulls that off. Um, so I just have to go for whatever's just like visually 
you know, what grabs me visually, what what makes me look at that and say, you know, that's wow, pretty fucking incredible. Uh, and this movie did that. So, yeah, I, do, I highly recommend checking it out. Deliver, deliver us from evil. Um, and I believe I know what this is. I got this in the mail uh, Saturday. Yesterday. Yes, yesterday. And uh, I think I know what it is. And if, if it is what I think it is, I'm very impressed at the time it took to deliver this. I think I only ordered it like a couple of days before. So I got here like two, maybe three days. Have to factor in it was Fourth of July weekend too, so no no mail running on the fourth. So yeah, got this pretty quick. Let us see, shall we? I hope it's what I think it is. Pretty please. I feel so tired right now. I don't know if you can see this about this World War Z glass. It's kind of neat. Picked it up at Spencer's. Let's see. Yeah, this is it. Oh, it's signed. Mother of Pearl. I don't know it's gonna be signed. This um, this movie has caught quite a buzz, especially amongst people in. Our beloved little community, um, but who really brought this one to light for me was uh, Willie Mark One, A.K.A. Scotty. It is pieces of talent. Now, when I saw that he had ordered this, he made it. He posted that he had ordered it, and I was looking at it like, oh, what's that? Hadn't heard of that one. And then. Other people were commenting on the post saying, Oh, I've been wanting to see that one for a while now. Oh, yeah, oh, I've seen it. It was great. And everyone's just going on and on about it. I'm like, what is this movie? What is this? So I clicked it. I went to the link. I watched the trailer. Now, with, with a lot of movies like this, they come off looking kind of like... Well, sometimes they come off looking kind of like, like a student project. Um... Someone borrowed a camera and shot some stuff, and it doesn't, it doesn't come off looking very polished, which is fine. Uh, it, that's, that's a good feel for some of these movies. <clears throat> but this one came off looking really well in the preview. And what I caught of the acting looked pretty phenomenal. And uh, then I started reading some of the reviews on it. And seeing some of the people who were involved in reviewing it, like Mr. Parker did a review on it. And I said, uh, I looked at the price and I said, hey, the price is right, man. It was like 17 bucks. So I said, you know what? Let's, let's get it. Let's do it. So I ordered it. And I'm going to be checking this out as soon as possible. Pieces of talent. And once I do, I will let you all know exactly... How I feel about it. It uh, it has been described a couple of times in different reviews and on the back here, beautiful horror. Beautiful horror, you know? That's that in and in and of itself is very intriguing to me. And uh, I can't wait to see it. I really can't. I mean uh, here here's the thing. Movies, mainstream movies, when when it gets hyped up, it gets hyped up by uh, ad people. It gets hyped up by, you know, they'll take the best parts of an audience reaction video and throw that out there. And, and like I said, a little part of me just hopes that this time it's exactly how they say it is, that it's that crazy and disturbing and everything. And yeah, I fall for it and I'm usually disappointed because I'm always expecting more. I'm always expecting more when I'm watching these movies. Like, okay, that was, that was okay, but where's the really, really good stuff, you know? Um, and it never happens, and I wind up a little disappointed. But for for people like we, for you know, like Danny and Scotty and, and uh, Chris and 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 Mr. Parka and all the guys and, and all the gals who watch these kinds of movies, when they come at, come at you and say this is a must see, 
it's a must see okay if they come out and say this is some really fucked up shit you're gonna see some fucked up shit there's no two ways about it they've got nothing to gain or to lose by sharing their honest to God opinion and if they think something sucks well you can you can wait to the the verdict is completely in and, and you can see it yourself and judge for yourself of course that's like with any movie but I would rather listen to a group of like-minded individuals on a certain film rather than listen to the critics, the, the paid critics, the, the ones that hold the degrees and things like that. I would, rather, I would rather listen to the people who, who take these, these movies to heart, the ones, who, the ones who are actual fans of these incredibly, incredibly disturbing and twisted films. Um, how disturbing and twisted this is? Not really sure. All I heard was good things about it. So, yeah, I went for it. Not one person said, eh, it could have been done better. Or, or you know, I was really disappointed. I didn't see anything like that in any of the comments or in any of the reviews. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I'll probably be checking it out later tonight. And like I said, once I do, I'll be sure to let you all know what I thought of it. But for now, guys, that's it. Like I said, Deliver Us From Evil, probably one of the better horror movies I've seen mainstream-wise in probably the past six months to maybe a year. Um, and then I got this little gem. It's autographed. That is so cool. See? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the paper. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> and it's a two disc set, by the way. So. Pretty neat. Pretty damn neat. Pieces of talent. Thank you. Scotty, William Mark One, for the heads up on this here title. And uh, thanks guys for watching, as always. Uh, I'll try to be doing these videos a little more on time. I have some reviews that I need to do, some reviews that I promised I would do and I haven't done them yet, and for that I'm very, very sorry, um, just like I said had some things coming up and uh, trying to handle them a little bit better yeah so you guys take care as always thanks for watching and I will be talking to you all again real soon till then take care <laughs>